people think of classical dancers as like these perfect, soft fairy tale characters. And I've been asked before, wouldn't you want to be perfect? Why would I keep doing this? If I were perfect at it, it would be so boring. Having been a professional for almost 20 years, I want to bring ballet to more people. Every human being should experience dance in some way at some point. In this masterclass, you will learn a simple way of approaching the ballet technique, as well as all that it takes to accept who you are and embrace who you want to be. You're really in such a vulnerable state when you're with someone on stage and you're experiencing what you are, and then you also have to be so free. The number one thing is absolutely trust. <laughs> hey, <that's> good! <laughs> I didn't start ballet until I was 13. I experienced a lot of hardships from a young age. Speaking was terrifying. And so to find this language through movement was like, oh, this has been the missing link my whole 13 years of living. It wasn't until dance came into my life that it made me confident. Focus on your placement principles as you move to attitude on releve. They will help keep you from pitching your upper body forward. <sighs> <laughs> so I rotate in and then, there you go. When it comes to working with a choreographer, come in with the approach of being a blank canvas. You're there to be molded. I went through a really difficult time where I started to believe people's words that I wasn't right, I wasn't good enough. It was a way of saying, you don't have the right skin color for dance. I could have walked away, but I took it as fuel. Own your power and your voice. Do not let other people's words define you. I'm Misty Copeland, and this is my masterclass.